What is good? How are you doing, Casey? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm all righty then. Let's fucking go. All right. LFG? Yeah. No big co on this one. Maybe we'll see him next time. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Guy's a mystery. Yeah. An if enigma, you'll... if you will. Let me get that subby. I'm going to hit y'all right off the rip with that thing. Go ahead and subscribe. Comment below. Tell us your thoughts on this video when we're done with it. Tell us if we're crazy. Tell us if you think you're right. If we're wrong, tell us what you think, uh, what would happen in the wake of this situation. Uh, so let's get it. You ready to roll? Yeah. Hit that Thrive. Fantasy. Gotta hit the Thrive. Dot com. You got to Thrive. All, all, any app store across your uh, platforms there. Go ahead and download that thing. Check it out. It's a whole lot of fun. We know you love the props. We know you love the game. We'll get your right. fix. Use the code word the FFD. Play a contest. We have play some it. Fun. We have a lot of fun with it. We wouldn't be pumping it out to y'all if we didn't. Um, and it's uh, it's it really is a good time. Um, it really is something that again, if we didn't like, we wouldn't pump it out. And and something that I think that has some legs and and will continue to grow. And it's not it's not like a. You can't pick from hundreds of guys. It's like the top 20 right. assets of, of some fantasy. The Josh Allens of the world, the Saquons, the CMCs, uh, top, the man. Amari Coopers, the uh, Justin Jeffersons, all the, all the big dogs because uh, they got to eat. And, you know, <laughs> hey, so, little dogs got to eat, too. But uh, no, hit that. Hit the code word DFFD. Match your dollars up to 100 bucks. It's check free it out. Monies. Play on that platform. Tell them we sent you. Tell them we sent you. Love it. Let's get into the next segment. Let's do it. The last one. A little Russell Wilson. What's going to happen with him in Seattle? Is he done, done, done? Is Russell done in Seattle? Question mark. If you listen to that interview from DP. So, you know, this, not this, is, good. this could just be conjured up, you know, things, but... It seems like we don't speculate a ton. Maybe here. we're maybe we're trending in the right direction for this to kind of happen. There's been a lot of parts and pieces that just make it kind of make sense a little bit. So we wanted to, to discuss it and tell you kind of why uh, we, we may think of that. And, you know, I've been on record of not being the biggest Russell Wilson as a as a the way he acts in front of the media fake man a pretty available, fake human, I feel but like is what you said <laughs> i respect his play as a as a quarterback and he doesn't give a fuck about me i, I don't have a fraction of the ability that man has so why should he give a fuck but i mean if he would just keep it a little more real but he he's he's fucking awesome he's, on the it's field it's not 100 over there uh, he's definitely not keeping it 100 but he told in, in Aaron Andrews and, and all that he shit. wanted to stay in seattle but so basically Where russ's was his yacht? russ's whole life whole shtick seems to really revolve around legacy. Like he wants to just be remembered as being a great, being an all time great uh, in the scale of, in the scope of the NFL there. What was it he's concerned about? His legacy. Legacy. Yeah. Got it. Um, Which that word pops up several times listening to this DP interview. So this all kind of stems back to him going and watching that Super Bowl with Tommy and Mahomes and they're going toe to toe and, and he's watching and he's all the while thinking to himself, and he's much as basically said this. This sh- should be me. Why is this not me? He's Tommy's throwing to Evans and Godwin and Gronk and AB, and he's got, got Lenny. Lenny back there, and his offensive line doesn't let him get touched. And you know, Tommy basically is hand picking where he gets to go. And finally, after all the time in uh, no fun New England. He's now controlling and kind of maybe leading a little bit of QB empowerment of saying, hey, I'm, I left here. Look at how much fun I'm having. Because he is single-handedly responsible for bringing A.B. up in that bench. Right. And Gronk. And probably keeping a lot of those guys and bringing them back. Right. Um, so, you know, he's over there thinking, this should be me. The Seahawks are holding me back from me really doing me. Um, whether he'll say it or necessarily not. And, and, and cementing legacy, the legacy. legacy. So then, legacy cubed. Later, he kind of goes on DP, Dan Patrick, and stirs it up a little bit more. Dan presses him a little bit, and, and Russ kind of, you know, Do usually, you have say usually will in dip the front office. and Derek Jeter is way out of answers, which, you know, will always say a whole bunch of words and never actually say anything. But Russ gets in there and, and says some shit and kind of stirs it up a little Reminds bit. Reminds me of Big Co. Shots fired. Again, you know, basically saying that he doesn't have any 
say and kind of what goes on and that he he should and look he looks around and sees all these other guys that are you know getting some say and and he he feels very strongly that he should and you know shouldn't be getting hit like he is and should be allowed to cook a little bit so more many and, sacks yeah they they really take him out of the kitchen um you know we even get a list of acceptable trade destinations at one point in the offseason from here. him uh yeah well from his agent of basically saying you know i want to go to dallas or uh las vegas or chicago or chicago uh, i forget what the other one's on there but you know then after that season goes on off season goes through they, they kind of put it to bed a little bit put knock it down for 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 a week or so but there's still peter and russell issues over there you can bet that shit um they basically are saying that you know there's been people calling for for trade trading russ over there and and is he available well that's a seahawks question and you know i don't know like not him or, right like not him Right. So I mean, he asked him, "Do you have any say in the front office?" And he said, ah, "Yeah." And then said a bunch of words and did not answer the question. Right. But in a previous question, that was asked if he wanted say, and okay. he was like, "Yeah." Right. He absolutely wants say. And and then you go back to this Thursday game that just happened where he got injured, uh, uh, almost you know eight months later, six months later, or whatever. Um, and then you get that classic Russell interview on a dock. Just, it's just so full of shit. A the dock fake where his shit. yacht usually is, but that isn't there just now. Could it's just so dumb. Just that's why I can't stand him as a human. I I, I respect the hell out of him on the field. I think he's fucking awesome. Um, and as a human being, I'm sure he's uh, just the way he presents himself in the media. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm just saying he's, he's fake. Fakest, yeah, fakest human available. I Fake the way he portrays himself to the media uh, drains me, and I'm sure. The dudes in the locker room don't love that either. So he basically, Aaron Andrews asked him the question about it, and he says this whole thing is blown out of proportion. Well, the, the interview ends, and it goes back to studio. Immediately, Jay Glazer's basically going, you're full of shit. This was not overblown at all. This is real. And I don't know how or why Jay Glazer always has the scoop on these sort of things, but he always fucking does. Um, so it wasn't overblown. This is a real thing. This is a real problem. Now... Fast forward, gets injured. There's a real chance that the Seahawks maybe don't make the playoffs here. There's, he's on the outside looking in again. One more year goes by. The Seahawks have since traded two first-round picks of the next two years for Jamal Adams, again, going all in on a defensive player when Russell wants offensive linemen and uh, wide receivers, more skill position, uh, yada, 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 let me cook, let me do my thing. He's going to be the most sacked quarterback in the history of the NFL is what DP said. Right, and some of that's on him. Um, but, again, without having those first-round picks, you lack more firepower to, to really possibly grab elite players, and your your owner has since passed away, and it seems like things have kind of gone off the rails a little bit since that's kind of happened. Um, and, and the GM and, and Pete, you know, don't seem like they're necessarily progressing in the right direction. And it seems like Russell's kind of going in the complete opposite direction where he's at. And like I said, this ends on the outside looking in without the playoffs and with Russ watching again, not having first round picks, not having as much say as he'd like to have. And then on top of it, at the end of it, you know, you have the wife who's a celebrity basically putting another battery in his back essentially saying that she wants to be in a bigger market for her career. Like that was kind of the list of, again, destinations of, of places where he would like to end up so she could be in a bigger market. Is like, she still make, is she still making music? I'm, I don't know what she's doing. She's doing she just fine. She still have I'm a sure. career? Yeah, she just made a song not too long ago. I'm okay. pretty sure that was kind of big. And so, you know, um, but you know, you could say that's nothing or something, but I, th I think for a guy like him, that, uh, that you is, know, you know, your wife in your something. ear all the time, that is probably it something on for you. you. And, and when you're already leaning in a direction of not loving what's going on there and feeling a certain type of way about the franchise, you may have to tarnish your legacy momentarily. Whoa, whoa, whoa. To get the to be in the grander picture of the big legacy, short term people legacy will, versus long term right, legacy, short tarnishment for a big polish grander statue uh later here uh so basically just wanted to kind of come in here say my feelings on on wh where i think that russell probably isn't gonna be a seahawk next year if that'd be my big guess my big uh, he's out 
is that he's going to be somewhere so else. So they're going to trade year. him? I they do have a on spot track it says they have or spot whatever the contract website is it says they have a potential out for 26 million dead which well they're good they, they must would, be a quarterback you don't have two first you can get some of that ammo back you can play defense and run the ball get back to what pd wants to do and and do it your does thing. help you, you win games you get I some mean, of those assets. Not like i'm, I'm not been i'm not i'm with not Russ, saying that they haven't been successful you know, but russell is viewing himself pace. as that why can't I be Patrick Mahomes? Why can't I be Tom Brady on the Bucks? Because when can't asked I by Dan Aaron Patrick Reed? if there was anything those guys could right. do that he couldn't, he didn't say N- yeah. He laughed. He said no. And basically said no. Yeah. Like, I could do everything they could do yeah. better. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. For my legacy. Right. Um, <laughs> so, really just wanted to have a, a little forethought into that. Put it out into the universe. See what people think. See if I'm an idiot. And, you know. See what you let me know in the comments below. But <laughs> at the end of the day, like what would this what would the impact be for the fantasy assets left behind is, is you know, if we want to put the fantasy spin on it at the end and I'll kind of leave you with that. Like, how would you feel about your DK? I mean, I don't know where Chris Carson's going to be, but, you know, I think Russ. Well, Chris Carson never gets any respect. So no one even no one even thought about Chris Carson no. when you said that. And, but injured. But, you know, DK and Lockett, you know, who knows what happens Lockett? With, with those. May, maybe you try to move Lockett. Maybe you try to move Lockett mm. this year. Next blow up game, maybe. You're, but DK, I'm fucking holding. I'm not trading yeah. DK. I don't have any DK because he's always been six dollars forty, so expensive. Right. And so I don't have any DK. But if I did, I wouldn't. I'm. I don't think I. I just can't. I can't give up DK if I have him. Yeah, I mean that's fine. I I, I probably wouldn't either. I just wanted to. But it definitely makes you think. I mean, what if Russell's not in Seattle and the, the writing is on the fucking wall? It certainly could be. He certainly could be. There's there's more player empowerment than ever of, of guys moving around, especially guys with as much... Uh, Nash. Elk or Pan- whatever you want to do. I don't know. With, Panache might be a little yeah. generous, but more like weight. He's right. got weight behind him. So everybody wants him. So. Panache implies like the off-the-field charisma, which mm. you're definitely against, but for yeah. Russell. Right. Anyway. All right, well, let's get out of here. Just a fun little thing to uh, think about and talk about. Wanted to put it there. If you're listening on the podcast at the end of the show, if you're watching solo videos, little video here, let me know what you think. If you agree, disagree. Yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, let me get a comment. If you're on the podcast, please, let me get that five-star review on the iTunes. We'll see you next time. Like you said... If you hit that subscribe button, we'll have uh, we got a, another video maybe with some talking about some second year uh, second contracts for running backs and and ha- you know nobody wants thoughts to hear on about those that. And so hit we that subscribe. Think of, make sure you get that. We got to think of a clever title to get them to click <laughs> on that because nobody wants to hear about second year contract running backs, even though basically all the good ones have one and yeah. they're doing just fucking fine. Well, we'll try to get to some kind of Debbie and some college player stuff here and maybe have some Debbie guys on. Uh, it's tell all about the about 23 it. class. And uh, so, again, subscribe. Once November rolls around, try to, try to keep you in the loop for what's going to happen next year. All right. Appreciate y'all. Peace. <laughs>